just like the saints are down here functioning kind of like a spa there's also the anti acting like spies they have to attack it's just like their daddy the devil they have to attack we're trying to pluck people out of the devil's lies right the devil's system, the devil's lies. I'm not in a box. I'm not in a denominational box. I'm not in a political box. I'm not in a society box. I'm not in a, any kind of box. If you want to call it a box, but it's not a box, it's faith alone box. That's the box I'm in, if you want to call it, but it's not a box. It's, un, it's actually unfolding the box. Because when you, when you fold up the cross, you get a box. When you unfold a box, you see the cross. So anybody who's outside the cross, who haven't, haven't went through the cross, they're in a box. This is the death cult. They love death. Do you hear what I'm saying? They love darkness. They love death. They love fake reality. They love the delusions. They love fooling people. They love their narcissism. They love their gaslighting they love their fake reality <clears throat> they hate when you expose the lies of the system and so they have to attack you try to destroy you and they know they can't destroy you because they need you to survive they actually need you <laughs> but think about eve eve was a piece cut off from adam she tried to usurp Adam, which is impossible, but she wants to usurp Adam just like the devil wants to usurp God. It's impossible. It's impossible. This is why she hated Adam. Her desire is to rule over him. Why? Why does she want to be like the man? If you take the Adam and Eve story and you unfold it to the nth degree you see all problems you see all issues most people hate authority like i was saying in the other video like the rock and roll music it's rebelling against authority you know this place is a birthing process sanctification process to move you to a new state from from one state to the next state. The word travel goes back to travail, goes back to carry, goes back to weigh. It goes back to transport. You're being changed to a new state spiritually from one state to the next state, one state to the next state. You get on that treadmill, it's the same treadmill. Every time you get on the treadmill, it's the same. But you're being changed in the inner man. You're being changed in the inner person. You get on the treadmill of life. It's the, it was the same treadmill before you showed up on the scene. It's the same treadmill. It doesn't matter which job you go to. It doesn't matter which city, what state, what it doesn't matter. It's the same red versus blue treadmill. And so just like they persecuted the prophets of old, the saints of old, Jesus of old, because Jesus came into this world, a dark world. He came unto his own, his own received him not. The light came into the darkness but the darkness comprehended it not. So when you don't join up with the hive, the darkness comprehended it not. You're not from here. You're extraterrestrial. You're a spy down here. They're a spy. To, they're, they're a spy as well, but they're trying to spy out your liberty that's in Christ. They're trying to bring you back to bondage. Everything they do is to try to pull you back to the world, the flesh, and the prior life. And no matter 
how hard they try, it'll never work. Let's say you did go out. Let's say did. Let's say somebody did convince you to go out here to uh, get something to eat, go to a bar, get drunk, and you did something stupid. You know, still not who you are. You you're not in the cycle. You're not in the repeat. It's not your identity. They can't stop. They're stuck. They're stuck in the gaslighting. They're stuck in the repeat. They're stuck in the cycle. They're stuck in the people pleasing. They're stuck in the whole, the whole game of the devil. They're stuck in it. The world, the flesh, pro life, people pleasing. They can't be content unless they're persecuting. They can't be content unless they do somebody harm. Unless they get drunk. They love death. They eat death. They speak death. They think death. They watch death. They listen to death. Everything about them is death. What God is doing in your life, sanctification, and it's not by law, it's not by the letter, it's by His Spirit. The letter killeth, but the Spirit gives life. What God is doing in your life, if you're saved, He's moving you day by day to a new state. Eventually, you'll cut off their music. You'll cut off their TV. You'll cut off their news. You'll cut off their TikTok. You'll cut off their Instagram. The only reason I scroll through some of that is just to see, see what the new game is. I don't really care. I don't need, I, even when smartphone, I didn't even have a smartphone for a long time. One of these worldlings, I was on the job, one of these worldlings, she said, you don't have a smartphone? I said, what's that? I didn't, even want a, I didn't know what a smartphone was. I got one, and I thought, okay, let me see what this is. So it does help your life, you know, if you're, you can do stuff on the mobile. You can do, you can get more accomplished, you know. But my point is, they're trying to tie you into the 666 hive cube mind box life, some kind of box. When you leave the denominational box, when you leave the political box, the, the people who are in the box start to hate you. They even might think they're saved and they start attacking you. Why would somebody attack you? Okay, so you leave that denominational box and you say, I'm just trusting in Jesus. I don't need a, I don't need a building. I don't need a box. I don't need somebody. I've got a teacher. The Holy Spirit is my teacher. I don't need somebody teaching me their little box, you know. Why is it those people in that box, that two by four sheetrock box building, when you leave, why do they get mad? Why do they attack you? Well, you don't attack them, but they attack you. Why do they attack you? When you leave the rock and roll, there's a lot of people who were caught up with groups, you know. I wasn't really, I was never in a, I was never in a group, you know. They tried to box me in. After you get saved, they try to box you into some denomination or something. It just don't happen. It, it ain't gonna happen. You know, you get married to some woman and she tries to box you into her bloodline box. <laughs> her, you know, you'll go, and her mom will put a TV show on about traditions and tradition, tradition. So you say, what? Is this really happening? So they're trying to brainwash you into their traditions. <laughs> it's stupid. It's insane. It's people pleasing. They want you to, to magnify their flesh, magnify their position, their pride. And they're usually just stupid. The people who are people pleasers are usually just dumb. They were just pure. They just don't think for themselves at all. They're not. They're, they're, they're just not uh, mavericks. They claim to be mavericks, but they're in the hive. How can they be a maverick when in a box? A true maverick goes out on his own, does his own thing. They're not mavericks at all. Just like the actors and the actresses, they just follow what the script writer says. That the, who is the maverick? The script writer. That's the real maverick. But most of the script writers, they have to do, they're not even out, out free from a box because they have to people please Netflix or YouTube. They have to people please for money. 
and it comes down to like artists and musicians that are they they most most people are in a box because they're trying to do the music for money and to pl please the the population there's music out there that's good that nobody's probably ever heard and because because they're not a part of the illuminati box system <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> I don't I, see, and the ones who are stuck in a box, they can't even hear what you're saying. I'm saying it as clear as I'll get out, but because they're in a box, they can't. They're in a denominational box, a bloodline box, a culture box. They're in some kind of box, and because they're in that box, they can't even hear you because they've been trained their whole life to think according to somebody else's uh, box. And Jesus said, The truth will set you free. So when Paul was talking to Galatians, he said, uh, these legalists come in and try to spy out our liberty that's in Christ. And we don't let them, we don't give them, we don't put up with them for more than an hour, not even an hour. We talk to them. And what he's, what is he really saying there? In an hour, we don't even let them stay more than an hour. We kick them out. Why? What is he saying? Same thing I say. Somebody shows up, and I just ask about two or three questions, and I know what box they're in. All I have to do is ask three questions, and I already know where they're at. They're either a witch or a Gnostic or a Gematria or a, a, a denomination. They're, they're either a, a, it's really not, they're either just totally sold out to the flesh, the world, the pride life. They're either just full of pride. I mean, it's just like, all you have to do is ask about three questions and you know, because you've already seen the game. It's, there's nothing new. There's archetypes of belief systems. There's actually archetypes of the boxes. There's an archetype of the Methodist. There's an archetype of the, all the, it doesn't matter which city you go into. I can go across the country to California, go to a Pentecostal church. It's the same archetype box i can go down to new mexico same box i can go to texas same box i can go to canada same box i'll be uh, to be honest with you part of this is the cia the missions if you've ever been married to somebody who's uh, a part of this stuff you realize you start to realize this person is most likely a cia agent if you've ever been married to a somebody who's probably a CIA agent of some kind, you're going to know that something's not right because they're too secretive. They're too secretive. They know too much when it comes to con. They, they know too much when it comes to de de talking to people. You say, well, why do you use their name? Because when you, because when you use somebody's name, it um they they accept you more why do you say that because when you say that they've already been trained how to win friends and influence people the cia if you've been married to a cia agent you will know it you will know something's not right you will know they have no truth but they've been trained psychological warfare they know how to play games when you put them in a corner when you back one of these agents in the corner, whether they're a CIA agent or not, and the reason I say that is because think about the mission field. Don't you know that if you got a missionary that's going to another country and traveling all over the place, that is a prime place to put a CIA agent? Now, in the Old Testament, The military used a, an agent to bring down Samson, right? They've always got a CIA agent nearby or an MK Ultra agent, whether it's FBI, CIA, or whatever, because the whole system is run by the devil. And the devil doesn't want you to spread faith alone and Jesus alone. They're always going to be attacking you. 
I mean, just deal with it. Just face it and get used to it and look for the patterns. Look for the archetypes. If they're in a denomination and they're attacking you and you're saved and they claim to be saved, they're probably a CIA agent. And if they're not an agent, they're just an agent of, from a CIA. They're an agent of the devil, the hive mind, and they don't even know they're an agent. What is the CIA? CIA, C-A-I, to see the flesh mind. To look for your weakness in the flesh. To try to manipulate your flesh side. When you die daily to the flesh mind, they have nothing. The devil, when Jesus was tempted, he says, the devil's come to, to tempt me, but he has nothing in me. So the CIA is the CAI. Their AI is the flesh mind. They're looking for the flesh, something to grab hold to, to pull you out of your, your peace, your love, your joy, you know, your freedom. They hate your freedom. They're slaves. They're slaves to the flesh. They're slaves to the world. They're slaves to their image. They're slaves to the outward show. They're slaves to the somebody in their life they're a slave to. And they hate your freedom. They don't want you speaking truth. They don't want you thinking outside the box. They don't want you creating your own stuff, your own art, your own websites, your own uh, inventions. They don't. And if, and when you do, they try to steal it from you and take your information to make money off of it. Cause it's all about money, mammon, money. It's all about mammon. The love of money is the root of all evil. It's not the, it's not money. It's the love of money. Lost people always say that the unsaved people say, Month, they always say money's the root of all evil. No, it's the love of money that's the root of all evil. Why do they misquote that? That's so simple. It's the love of money that's the root of all evil. It's not money. You got to have something to exchange with, whether it's gold, silver, whatever it is. You got to have an exchange you can trade and barter or whatever. But they always say that. Every lost person, because they don't know their Bible, they, they just heard, they heard the saying, it's the, the love of money is the root of all evil. So they heard that in passages. They say, money's the root of all evil. No, it's not. Love of money. Why would they say that? Because they don't read their Bible. They don't know it. They didn't study it. They didn't want the truth. They just want to believe what they want to believe. They don't want absolute truth. They love the lie. Because it's their own fake reality. It goes back to Adam and Eve. Eve wanted her own reality. She didn't want God's reality. They don't want God's word. They, don't, they want to take verses out of context. Talk to any Pentecostal on the face of the earth. Go talk to one of them. And they will take a verse out of context. And when you say, well, what does that verse mean? It has nothing to do with the context. They will take it out of context every time. Talk to any Methodist, and they just talk about tradition. They will eventually talk about, you say, why do you do this? Well, it's our tradition. Tradition. <laughs> tradition is not spirituality. The letter killeth but the spirit gives life you're free in jesus so it doesn't matter if it's the de the dead corporate system the dead 5013c churches the dead uh uh legalist the dead jezebel the dead uh zombies it doesn't matter if it's the dead ignorant the dead uh theologian who really never got saved. It doesn't matter if it's the professor. They're all dead. They're all dead. And they don't have anything to think about. They waste, they spend all their, these people are pathetic. They don't have their own life, evidently. They spend all their time trying to attack you. And what you're doing, you're trying to build up. You're trying to, to build and 
and educate and set some captives free, and they're trying to enslave. They're trying to destroy and trying to enslave. You're trying to build up and set free. They're trying to destroy and trying to enslave. They're trying to gaslight. They're trying to bring people under bondage. They're trying to tor torment people. That's all they live for. These people are sick. They're sick. They have to drink. They have to drug. They have to run the streets because they're running from themselves. They have no peace. There's no peace, saith the Lord, to the wicked. They have to because they're running from themselves and don't even know it. So if you're married to a CIA agent or a hive agent, Or a 666 agent. Don't be surprised. If they're gaslighting you. Running the streets. Always having to do something. Drinking. Drugging. Pharmacy. Pharmacia. They always have to be in some kind of drug. They always have to be on Xanax. <laughs> I mean really. They're always on Xanax. Why? Why? And there's probably a new drug. That was like 20 years ago. I don't know what the drug is now. But they're always on something. Because they're running from themselves. They're running from God. They're running from conviction of sin. They're running from the conviction of their own sin. Their abortion. Their murder. Their sorcery. Their witchcraft. They're running from their... Jesus came, what? To convict the world of sin, righteousness, and judgment. Their sin... His righteousness and the judgment of God at the great white throne. So they're running from that. They're trying to hide. They're digging down underneath the earth to hide from God. They're making Star Wars to attack God when he comes back with his saints. These people are sick. It's so easy. But see, I guess they're so weak. They can't escape their little box because all their friends are in the box and that's how they build each other up. Otherwise, they'd have to be out on their own and they'd be better. They would be better off by themselves, but they don't think so. They think life is according to whatever box they're in. I mean, there's a lot of boxes out there. There's a lot of political boxes. There's a lot of religious boxes. There's a lot of social boxes. There's a lot of uh, corporate boxes. There's a lot of financial boxes. A lot of communities. You got you know if you you go live in one community, you got to fit fit in with the. Let's say there's a, let's say the house is on one street, it's like two hundred thousand. You got to keep your house looking like the rest of them. The box life. Doesn't matter what the, if it's a million dollar house, a hundred thousand, whatever, whatever neighborhood you're in, depending on how much the house is worth, they got to, they want you to look like the rest of them. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's the Truman show. And remember when Truman was waking up, when Truman was waking up and all the people who tried to wake him up, they had to shut them and get them off of there. That's what's happening. <clears throat> Those of us who are reaching in and pulling people like Truman out of the out of the show, out of the out of the game, out of the fake reality, out of the box life, they have to shut us down and shut us up and defame us and make us look crazy. When we're not crazy, they just like they're making money off of Truman. It's a show. They want you drinking their Coca-Colas. They want you eating their cheeseburgers. They want you. It's a show. They want you eating and drinking and spending money on their, their Walmart products you don't need, their Amazon. It, they want you to be uh, buying video games. They want you buying their Netflix. They want you in that, that merchandising box or that drug dot box that smoking box that drinking box they want you buying the products because that's how they get rich to keep you in the box and it doesn't matter what kind of box it is it could be a church box they gotta have you tithing they want you in a repeat system of some kind of box 
that they get rich and you stay a slave and you're miserable and you you're trying to figure out what life is about and every time somebody comes in and kind of reaches in and says this is what life's about they have to shut us up and hide us from you hearing the truth they have to hide the truth from getting into your ear gay and that's the whole system and i know it sounds crazy if you've never heard this before but it's real if you walk over to your neighbor's house and there's a bunch of family members you go in and you mention jesus there's somebody in that crowd who's an agent who's going to try to push you out of the door as fast as possible and that's a family gathering. That's a family meeting. It doesn't have to be a neighbor. It could be your own family. So you go visit your aunts or your uncles or whatever, and there's a bunch, and you start talking about the freedom that's in Jesus. They're going to get rid of somebody in that home is going to be an agent. The, de the demon's going to take over, and they're going to try to mock you, laugh, lie about you, or kick you out on. If you got a family member who's Methodist, okay, and you're and you are preaching faith alone and Jesus alone and not tradition, and you go over to their house and there's a bunch of people in there and you say, yes, yeah, faith alone and Jesus alone, not a works lest they match your boast. It's just faith in the finished work of Jesus. There's somebody in that house, that Methodist home. It could be Mormon. It could be Methodist. It could be anything that's not faith alone. And and they they always add faith plus something, right? There's going to be an agent that the, the, the demonic spirit's going to kick in with some person, and they're going to try to shut you down, shut you up. And when you leave, they're going to try to, that person who was possibly going to get saved, they're going to brainwash that person with lies and deceits and mockery against what was said. This is real, people. They got to mock the messenger to try to get the ones who are getting ready to get saved from really listening. But if they are the elect called, eventually they'll get saved. And we just keep on preaching the truth. We keep on telling people. We keep showing the matrix. We, should, we try to pull Neo out. Every time we try to pull Neo out, there's another Agent Smith to try to block it. And they use all these fancy words or whatever. And all these psychological games. And they don't even necessarily have to be a CIA agent. They were just trained by that family. They've, they've learned it from a child. Because their parents taught them how to be mockers and persecutors. They've learned it from a child, from their parents. They learned it from their, their household. They learned it from their school. They learned it from their, it starts as a child. They learned it from their neighbors. They've learned it from their university. They learned it from the job. This is not about free speech out here. This is to shut down the truth. Yeah, you can talk about anything but Jesus. You can talk about anything but faith alone in, in the finished work of Jesus. They'll accept you, except for that one thing. You can talk about Muhammad. You can talk about uh, Buddha. You can talk about anything but Jesus. Because it's a devil system, people. And it doesn't matter which country you're in, even the USA. I promise you. I promise you, most of your churches have agents in there to, to shut down faith alone and Jesus alone. I promise you. And if, they're, if they can't shut that truth down, they're causing drama to shut it down. And, they're, and there's like people on the pew who are listening to get saved. And there's people that come in and befriend them who are not really saved, but they're as agents to keep that one little uh, sheep from getting saved. And, and But they're nice to the pastor who might be preaching faith alone, but they try to get befriend that person because the pastor don't have time to befriend with everybody. And so they befriend that person to, to distract them. They're agents even in the church, especially in the church. Social media, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, corporations, the agents. 
just a it's it's like um it's a zombie hive I promise you and it never ends no matter where you go it's the same game if you try to build a a website they'll try to hack it they non if you do a wordpress they will be hacking it every day they will be attacking your wordpress every day because that's what they live for they have nothing else think about it your lot your pete speaking life they're in death they don't understand you because you're in life, they're in death. So what do they, what is it, what does it revert to? It reverts to persecution. They, they're dead, so they want you dead. But they need you because they feed off of you. They're vampires. It's the bizarre thing. It's the most bizarre thing ever. And so when you don't respond to their way, you just respond in truth. They'll go away, but they always come back. The devil will always leave, but he always comes back with a new game because he's, these people, some of them claim, can convince you that they're saved, but they're not. I watched it. I watched it for years. I would take notes on one person. Every time they called, I would take notes. And I would, their argument to try to cause doubt of some kind, some weird doubt, some weird convoluted doubt. And I'd make this verse, I'd speak a verse. And they'd go, they'd hang up the phone. A week later, they'd call back and they'd say some other argument. I'd say, well, those that worship must worship spirit and truth. They always want to put you back under legalism and law. And they always played these little mind games. And it's like, trying to i mean tried to play the mind games when you don't but you don't play their game it's just bizarre these people are sick they have nothing else to live for they have to do it because the freemason they're always in the, they they never work alone so they're always a part of a freemason cult or a witchcraft cult or a, some kind of some kind of cult but they're not going to let you know it's done in secret you know They'll go to church, and they, but behind the scenes, they're in a cult of some kind. A sex cult, a, a, it could be a denominational cult, a Wiccan cult. It could be a, a money cult. It's probably mostly money cult. And there's even probably education calls. You know, people are in the education system and they probably have a bunch of those. It could be a video call. It could be a, a video game call. It could be a chess call. The ch I've, I've talked to some of these people who are in chess. They can travel all over the country. They're all, but they're not saved. They get their identity out of their, their level of what, what level are you on? I'm 2,300. I'm 2,700. They have a number system for their chest identity. It's sad. It's sad. I mean, it's really sad. They get their identity in something down here instead of above. 